Hey the guinea pigs, I am back to the lab. So today we'll talk about programmers calculators. Uh, so you might wonder what, what is a programmers calculator? So let me give you an example. Um, on the left hand side you have a programmers calculator, like it's called computer math. And uh, right hand side you have like a more like traditional, uh, that's in HP 48GX, right? That was the, cal the calculator I, I had in preparatory school, right? For uh, scientific pre preparatory school. Uh, so the, the big difference you see is that on a programmer's calculator, you have all the, like the binaries and hexadecimal and uh, like computer operations, right? As a first class operation, for example, here you can have like, a, I don't know, if I put like in hexadecimal, right? If I want to uh, uh, to do like an, like an addition, you have it straight in hexadecimal, you can convert it in, in binary and so on, right? Um, so on a normal scientific calculator, you, you don't have that. Like you don't even have like, I looked at this one, and uh, this one doesn't work, unfortunately, but you see that even like on shifted functions, all those like operations are probably available, like hexadecimal and so on on this one, but they're probably through menus and so on, right? Here, you have everything, like you can write an, uh, directly like letters for, for an hexadecimal number, right? Uh, and uh, you can do or rotate, like all those operations, right? So you might wonder why I start suddenly to talk about this. It's because I, I wanted to find one. So, uh, for example, right, like uh, when I'm hacking on those uh, monitors, right, you know, like the, either the um, uh, Action Replay Mark III or, or, the, or the, even like, the, look at this example, for example, when, when I am on uh, the Kim, right, uh, that's going to be a, a future episode. So you see me actually directly using the, the, the calculators to compute an offset. Uh, then I wonder like which one should I buy, right? Uh, so I, I could find this one, which is the Casio uh, CM100. This one, which is the most classic of uh, all of them, which is the HP 16C. And finally, finally, not finally, actually, like this one that is um, like a physical replica, right? Like a modern modern re replica for the HP 16C, but from Swiss Micro. And finally, this one, which is on my phone, uh, that is uh, basically an, em an emulator of this one of the HP 16C. You, you recognize the, the keyboard. So. Um, Let's, let's explore like what is different from all of them, right? Uh, so if you are on the market to buy, buy one of those, you can, you can know what, uh, what to buy. Those calculators are a dying breed. Um, so this one is from the late 70s, beginning of the 80s. Uh, then you had like, like this one. TI also made one that is very similar to this one, actually. Uh, and that's it. Uh, you add like 30 years later this replica that is like basically this one, but like we we repackaged in, in a, on a modern uh, hardware, right? Or emulators, like I was uh, I was saying before. So yeah, today don't expect to find like a, a, <laughs> a bunch of choices, right? Uh, either like two classic ones or the, the HP ones. Let's start to explore this one, the Casio CM100. Why? Because this is the one that you 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 might uh, recognize like a, a normal ca calculator uh, out of it pretty easily, right? Uh, that's directly like um, really like one of those like Casio like uh, uh, like solar powered uh, calculator that that you could find. They just changed some uh, some operations. So let's let's say you want to make uh, an offset computation, right? You put it in hexadecimal, you set it to the right size 
of bits, right? Like for example, 16 bits, so four characters in, uh, in hexadecimal or 32 bit, like the entire thing. And you want to do, I don't know, you have your set uh, uh, cafe B, B right? And uh, uh, you want it to, to know minus, I don't know, cafe, uh, I don't know, beef. Okay, equal. And we have your, the offset. So you, you see uh, things that, so because I put like a negative number, right? You see that the carry flag uh, went, went on, right? Uh, that that is really emulating what what would uh, what would the CPU would do, right? Like when when it overflows or whatever, when when it has, it, for some operations, right? It, it has flags to keep the state. For example, to, to combine, like you are, you are on an eight bit computer, you want to do like six, sixteen bit operations, right? Like the carry flag uh, helps you to do to do this. Um, so you have like a lot of operations that you you might recognize from like a boolean logic, right? So for example, here rotate. So that's gonna rotate the, the rotate the, the number. Like uh, rotate means that the bit that is gonna be on the right hand side will up, go on the other side. Uh, same thing you, when you rotate on the other side. Shift will will basically divide by two if you do this, right? Uh, okay, I'm dividing by two, by two, by two, by two, by two, right? Uh, simply sh shifting all the bits on the right hand side and, and removing the right hand side bit. S same thing uh, uh, on the, on the other side, the multiply by two. Classic operations for I don't know, like when you are doing some assembly uh, programming. You can um, of course, convert convert ba basis, right? Like this decimal or hexadecimal, octal or binary. So bina binary would uh, would tell you, uh, okay, uh, like eight bits out of the eight bits out of the uh, full number. And there is a very cool uh, function, right? Like you see those little uh, dots because it exceeds the size of the of the of the displayable uh, uh, length, right? Uh, you you have like a function called block. So here you see that there is you you have like you are on the right hand side block because you see like three blocks on the left. So if I put block push block there, I know that I'm um, on the second block. There is one on the right, two on the left. Super well done, uh, especially for a small display like that. Again, like I'm on the, the third one and the last one. Yeah, I'm on the top bits, and I, I know that uh, there are three others uh, of those eight bits on the on the on the other side. Very well done, Casio, on this one. Um, so, being a normal calculator, right? You uh, you need to have like parentheses, so to have like uh, priorities of operations, uh, and you have like few uh, few normal operations, but those ones are are, are not like first class. Right, they are all uh, there, right? Like uh, square root, percentage, like you know that, like square, one over x, uh, uh, like hours, minutes, seconds, uh, one, uh, one way or the other. If you want to, to go into normal uh, normal mode, you, you push this one, and then if you do that, uh, five uh, square root, right? It's two dot two, right? Um, so, pretty. Uh, Pretty nifty uh, calculator, and you have also like a, just one register you can use, like a memory plus, memory minus, memory recall, right, and, uh, and a minimum uh, function. So, yeah, I think that that's it. So there is this one, which is pretty cool, which is just w removing one number uh, that is a little bit different different from other uh, calculators. Usually, you just reset, like with C or AC or a clear or clear. You can uh, okay switch switch. Uh, uh, switch sign there, pretty pretty classic. So let's see uh, when when you have actually when you are an hexadecimal uh, number, right? You can uh, you, you can actually change sign there, right? Or can change the, the sign mode, right? Uh, if you want to uh, uh, if you want to do like uh, sign operations in, in binary, which is pretty useful too, right? So if we are like, I don't know, let's say, let's do something a little bit real, you have 8 bits, right? Um, minus 1 is FF, right? So it's like minus 128. Okay, uh, one thing that 
uh, that is a little bit suboptimal. So you have like a floating point op operations, right? Like, uh, like we saw, right? But you don't have flo floating points mapping to, uh, to decimal. Yeah, like if you want to debug like uh, floating bo point operations on your, on your computer, right? You, you cannot do that. So that's a little limitation I, I found about this uh, calculator. Otherwise, um, seeing that quickly, the, 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 it's really like those flimsy cheap uh, calculators, like the, the, the keys are really not that uh, enjoyable to type on, right? It's a little bit slow, you saw that, uh, that it can be like a little bit laggy. Like how, how, why it takes like so long to actually uh, make, <laughs> make like a simple uh, minus operation here, that, that's weird. So, but otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I haven't read the manual. I understood the, uh, almost uh, everything that was uh, that was actually uh, exposed to, to me on, on this calcul calculator. So very intuitive, an intuitive cal uh, calculator. So now let's go over the HP 16C. So the HP 16C is considered the gold standard for programmer uh, calculators. Um, Again, they, this is one that is pretty old. Uh, that's an original, and you see that it, it's built like a tank. Honestly, this thing has, has basically uh, went through like 30, or between 30 and 40 years of age. It's, it's just black new, right? And uh, you, you feel it when you, uh, when you type on it. Like everything is like super sturdy. Like really a good material, and uh, and it has been built for I don't know a nuclear disaster or something. I don't know. It's it's amazing. Um, in terms of uh, of like uh, being a, a programmer calculators, you you recognize a lot of things that I was saying for the other one for the CM100, right? Uh, you have a lot of first class uh, functions, so you recognize again the. Uh, the bin binary, uh, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal mode, right? And uh, a lot of functions. Also, you recognize, of course, the, that the hexadecimal uh, entry is actually first class, right? If you want to, to do, uh, uh, oh, sorry, if I want to do like a, a hexadecimal entry, it's like right available here. So this calculator, calculator like I was saying packs a lot of like uh, first class functions for uh, programmers. Uh, like I can go through them like uh, uh, really quickly, uh, just to give you like a, a sense of the ones you might use. Like for example, like shift left, shift right. We saw that on the previous uh, previous calculator, right? Uh, so but I, can, I can show it there, right? Shift left, shift left, right? You see the binary numbers going right, uh, left, and then right. Uh, rotate left, rotate right, and the same thing with uh, with uh, a carry or carry over. For example, uh, if I rotate right, hope you have the, the the ones there plus the carry. You can do that n times. Uh, like I, I, do, I want to do three times, uh, rotate right, right or left. I can generate masks. So from the right, from the from the left. So for example, if I do, uh, I want to generate a, a mask of four bits on the right. I do four right side mask, so if you do binary, right, boom, that's only one, 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 four times, which is super useful. Often you, you, you do that, right, when, when, you are, when you are programming, right, you take the right hand side, left hand side, that, that can uh, allow you to, uh, to do that uh, quickly. Um, you have a reminder function, so that, that is like basically a, a modulo, so if you do, let's do that in decimal, so it's a little bit more clear for you. So let's say, yeah, we have uh, 15, right? Modulo 3. It's 0 because 3 times 5 uh, equals 15. Right, if I have 16, uh, 3 modulo 1, right? Because I'm 1 over. It's divided by 3, basically, and the, right, the reminder. Uh, here you have, like, okay, the, the normal operations, like uh, plus minus times. Uh, uh, Divided, you have a uh, XOR and NOT or like the, the binary operations, which are also like uh, almost first class function. Like you need to, to one, do a one function over. 
but uh, that's reasonable, right? That's something you, you should use like, from time to time, and having uh, having it on at least uh, the keyboard is uh, is already uh, already huge. A uh, lot of things that are related to uh, bits, right? So set bit, clear bit. Uh, that's a programmable function. We'll see that later. But just test if a bit is uh, is on. Um, first class also binary uh, binary sign numbers, right? So that's and with three modes. Uh, so which is complement to one, complement to two. Complement to two is basically all no, all like uh, modern computers work like this, right? So that's the the things we saw before. Like for example, if you add this one, you do, you remove one, you remove one again, bam, you go over, and that's that's going to be FFFFF for minus one, right? If I go to decimal, it's going to be minus one. So really, first class uh, first class sign uh, functions, and unsigned, right? So basically, the other uh, calculator only had those two, and that there is also a complement to one, which is not usual, not usual it's probably for all computers. Uh, yeah, let's continue. You uh, you can change the sign there, like directly, like, uh, instead of doing what I'm uh, added, so flipping back, back and forth. And uh, otherwise, uh, you you will have like a lot of um, uh, lot of programmable functions, right? Uh, one thing to note first is uh, so, for example, if I go to let's say I put a number in binary, right? something random. Uh, I go that in binary. Uh, I go in binary. Like you, you s how does this one tells you that this is over the size of the displayable size? Uh, it's with this little dot. And let me let me be uh, very uh, <laughs> let's let's give like some like frank feedback uh, to HP like 30 years later. That is retarded because so okay you have this uh, dot there right and you um, let's say you uh, you want to to shift them to the right. So first, you need to understand that this one actually shift that in the other way, right? Intuitively, I would say, yeah, I want to go to the left. No, you need to shift the thing to the right to display the, the thing. And then it tells you you are in the middle of it. Cool. Which ones? You have no clue. By how much, right? It is actually, it is actually by one, one bit, right? So this one or this one, you have no clue which one it is, right? This is absolutely retarded. Uh, so what they did to um, to alleviate that right they have another function right where, where you say where we say which window you want like uh, so you go window zero okay that's the first ones window one that's the eight next next ones uh, maybe window one yeah they're this one right so there the, i like the upper left and uh, like like uh, most sig significant and lower, lower like less significant bits right so that's how you do it. So you command which one it is, and you, you need to do those like several operations to understand where 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 they are, right? I really prefer the Casio way of handling the display. And uh, so so cool. Uh, those uh, you can store in uh, registered uh, things. Uh, you can program, but that's that's gonna be like um, uh, like really like kind of like little macros, right? So one quick thing about the HP calculators. You probably know that, but they are working in uh, what we call uh, the RPN mode, reverse Polish notation, which is a little bit uh, strange for people that never use that. For com computer scientists, uh, they are they are uh, they are interesting, right? Like even those like modern ones, like uh, like this is from the nineties, right? They they work also the same way, right? All all the HP calculators work work, work like this. Not only those um, programming calculators. So what does it mean? It means that you don't have those uh, those ones, those parentheses uh, function, yeah, right? Because um, when you actually plan to make uh, like a, a computation a computation or calculation, right? You you need to uh, imagine that the, uh, the the calculator has like a stack uh, with four like with four spots. So x, y, z, and t for top. When you enter a number, like let's say twelve, enter, it puts it on x. When you you type another number, it pushes. The, it pushes the stack up and 
uh, have the second number on X and the first number on Y. So uh, you're probably familiar on how, how stacks work on a computer, that's exactly the same thing. And all the operations are bound to the stack. Uh, so if I do plus, I, I will add X and Y as, um, as a result. And uh, how, as a human, you, you manage the priorities of operations, if you don't have like, uh, like parentheses, is that, for example, 50 might be the result of a previous sub-computation. I can do like, I don't know, 15, enter, 26, divided, for example, or whatever it is, and then combine that to the previous operation plus, right? Okay, 0 plus 50 equals 50, right? So uh, you basically, uh, you basically, save in the, in the top of the stack the, the intermediate results of your previous operations and then you combine them at, at the end. So it is, uh, I don't know, there are proponents for that. For example, uh, you see all the intermediate results compared to one, uh, one, uh, one modern computer calculator where, where you would uh, add all those uh, parentheses, right? So yeah, that's something you need to know if you buy uh, buy this. Is like yeah, you 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 might have to uh, I don't know, bend bend your mind a little bit if you are not used to this. Uh, but once you're used to it, it's very it, it comes very naturally. So next up, the Swiss Micro. So this one has been uh, built uh, like it's it's a modern right, re replica of the HP 16. And uh, if you look at it, it's incredibly. Uh, it, incredibly exactly the same basically um, so you have all the functions exactly like like they are, like they are on the HP 16 so I don't want to go through them again right they are exactly the same even the programmation anything right and um, there are some I don't know some minor differences so first is flash flashable right so you have a modern uh, you have a modern uh, USB right that is not used for power just for uh, just for flashing the, this thing or to have like a, they have also like a common line that is not really interesting and uh, and they go uh, yeah they go at length to uh, to exactly uh, emulate the, the display except that here for example you see that you can change uh, so let's see if I can do this uh, you can change the, the font for example so I press 7 and on right and uh, that cycles through various fonts so even replicating the kind of uh, segment di display it had originally. Uh, this one is absolutely ugly. The one that I like the most is this one. It's very clear. And it adds something compared to the other one. At least it's a little bit clearer to, 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 to read on this one. Um, the build quality is not bad. Uh, it has flat keys, like right, compared to the to the HP 16, right? Like uh, those ones are slanted, right? I. Honestly, if you ask me, I prefer those ones where they are really, uh, they, they are like, I don't know, uh, very tactile, right? Uh, those ones are a little bit, I don't know, a little bit uh, harder to, to press. It's not that bad, uh, but they, I think they, they, uh, they had some, I don't know, they wanted to keep that in a, in a, in a reasonable budget, right? That's why they, they, they went through this. Um, yeah, otherwise not not much, right? Like uh, this is exactly the same uh, calculator, right? One thing I I think they uh, they kind of miss the, the the spot is with the display, right? Like look at what I have here, right? I have this stem this stem idiotic thing where you are. Yeah, I'm in the middle of a binary number. Cool, where? I, they had like a lot of spots to actually make an indicator or improve it. So yeah, nice build quality, quality and uh, and uh, if you want to exactly have your HP 16 uh, behavior, that's gonna be that's gonna be it, right? Let's come back to this thing. When you look at this one, this this is an emulator for the, the exact same uh, calculator, but on on my phone. Look at what they did, right? This is the same thing, except that they, they could pack a lot more numbers, right? Why didn't do why, why, why didn't do it here, right? Like they could have done the same thing. Uh, especially that uh, one of the advantage of uh, 
those uh, this HP60, right? It is that it supports up to 64 uh, bit numbers, right? So at least having like some of them like this uh, is useful. So this one is free. Uh, you can you can download it on the on the Android um, Android. Uh, Uh, like uh, App Store, right? Uh, Play Store, and uh, it also it behaves exactly like the uh, the other one, except that that it has at least this uh, this way of uh, displaying things that are a little bit uh, better. The thing you lose though is that you don't have this tactile thing, right? Like it's just like a, it's a it's a touch screen, right? So you don't know what what you tap exactly. So in conclusion, which one? Should you buy if you want to uh, to hack a little bit on on uh, I don't know vintage computers and have this experience of like yeah having a, a like a little tool that can help you uh, do your binary operations and so on. Uh, so I think it it comes back to a little bit your budget. Uh, so this HP 16, like I was saying, that's the king of the hill, right? The basically built like a built like a tank. Uh, you can find them like still uh, second hand, right? Uh, they, they will be like still in good shape usually, um, and uh, but those are the most expensive, right? They, uh, I bought this one at 175 bucks, which is a good price, uh, but it's a little bit stiff. If you want to have the same experience with some modern hardware, right? Uh, possibly um, with some, uh, maybe in the future, some hacking uh, possibilities, right? You can uh, flash the firmware, so why not? adding your own functions and so on. I know that they did Swiss Micro uh, open source the DM42 for kind of bad reasons because they got they got caught on the on the GPL I think. So uh, that's a modern replacement uh, with a little bit more functions but it's gonna be exactly the same one as this one, right? I don't want to uh, I want to really reiterate that it's gonna even replicate the the for me the defect of the original ones, right? This one comes to $145 uh, uh, shipped from uh, Switzerland. It's a Swiss company, of course. Uh, so slightly less expensive. Um, and you'll have um, a kind of a genuine experience, let's say, right? Like not as good as this one, but like very close. So I think that's, that's, that's the right price. Uh, this one, uh, so that's interesting if you don't like uh, like the HP way of doing things like uh, stacks and so on, right? Uh, they, uh, it, repli it has like most of the functions you, you will need, the main ones. Uh, honestly, when you, you will do those things, probably most of the time you, what, you will do, what you will do is uh, computing offsets and so on and converting from one base to another, right? So. This, this one, I could buy it for $30. They are pretty um, rare, right? Uh, so uh, people try to sell them at a way higher price. But yeah, this one, I, I got lucky, uh, $30 in pretty good shape. And it has the advantage that uh, you cannot have one that uh, with a battery leak or whatever, because it's like a solar one, right? But the experience is a bit like a less satisfactory, like it's it's flimsy, let's, let's be honest, right? And probably uh, it will show signs of uh, wear and tear like way earlier than uh, th those guys. Finally, if you don't really care and you can use your, your cell phone, this one is perfect, right? That's, uh, that's the exact replica of uh, this one, right? Uh, but with some, some uh, fixes for uh, like, let's say the defects, like I was saying, like uh, those uh, display things and so on, you can still do exactly the same thing, right? But honestly, you lose the tactile, uh, the, the tactile input and so on, right? So in terms of experience, that's the worst, uh, I believe, from the from the four, right? Uh, the fifth alternative is actually using your computer, right? You've seen that, me use it, doing that with Python, so it's free too, right? <laughs> like this one. Uh, but uh, but again, here you have to go to a computer, like uh, probably add a lot of parentheses and so on to your computation, or have using like like a, like a, your mouse to click on an emulator. It's, it's less uh, less less ideal, right? So yeah, let's conclude this video. I hope it it helps for you to uh, to spot which one you want to uh, to buy if you have any questions feel free to uh, add them to the uh, to the comment below below right i will monitor that and answer them 
And uh, otherwise, if you want to follow me for like the next uh, hacking on using those uh, calculators on the field, please subscribe uh, and, uh, and you'll be notified for uh, the next video. Thank you.